we have a lot of debate in India per se about our owners, and yeah. uh, me and Nithi are very, very level-headed and probably leaning towards pro FSG, and we get a lot of stick for that yeah. at times. Yeah. But do, yeah. do you think there is a growing uh, feeling of discontent back home in Liverpool about? The way probably like like we all know it's successful. It's working. We won what we need to win. But is there a slight feeling of discontent? Yeah, I think the big thing is is that uh, when they changed the ticket prices a few years ago, right. um, they they upset the fans. Then the fallout not so long ago with the Super League, not consulting the fans again. Right. I think the change in what they've done going forward has been positive in the way that they are looking to put. Um, someone on the, well in board meetings to, to have a say and and to speak to them to get the fans opinion on it where they can go back and and see how the fans feel about that I think that's a positive step when, when you look at what the the owners have done and and I'm the same as you I, I think every, every owner has his pro and his con they, they yeah. always have their ups and downs and there's always po- positives and negatives when Liverpool were bought they were in one of the worst situations in football, in, 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 in the English leagues, in, in world mm. football. They were an absolute mess. And they paid, I think it was about 350 million, yeah. maybe less. Well, now that now their business model is worth about two to four billion. Right. That's incredible. That's how you build a business. And you're also building a successful one on the pitch. Now I understand fans will say, well, if it's worth four billion then why aren't we putting that into the team? Well, yeah. they simply don't have that. That's on paper. If they were to sell the club, then they would make £4 billion off the back of it. So the club is extremely well run behind the scenes, but they will not put themselves in a situation where they go out and spend £100 million. The mm-hmm. Van Dyke and the Allison situation was off the back of selling Coutinho. The money wasn't just suddenly created um, off a checkbook from FSG to go, here you go, go and buy the best centre-back in world football. That was facilitated by selling other players. And that's been the business model all along. The fans have to get used to that and understand that that's part and parcel of the, of the way that Liverpool is run. Um, the only way that'll change is if someone else comes into the club and changes the business model and opens up a checkbook. But will the club still have that feel to it? Um, the, the club's changed hugely since since I left it and it's yeah. been taken over twice in that period. And now when I go back to Liverpool, I feel welcomed. I feel that I'm part of the club. I never felt that before. So yeah. FSG and the people that they employ are doing the right things behind the scenes. Um, I used to struggle even to go into the ground. People didn't know who you were, what you were wow. doing, what, or trying to get tickets. It's so easy and accessible now to, to, to be in contact with people, to... And they're, they're the little things that are, are, are yeah. nice touches in and around the place. So, um, listen, are they the perfect owners? No. Are they good owners? Yes. That's my opinion. 